Racing, Percy in the blue corner. He wears the blue trunks, true with gold. Weighted at nine stone, not one pound, five ounces. Formerly from Albania, now boxing out of Italy. He brings with him a 22 fight record consisting of 17 wins, three losses, one draw, and one no contest. Please welcome uh, to County Mayo, Suat Liz. And across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, true with white. Uh, he plays from Dublin and weighed in at nine stone, one bound. Comes to the ring undefeated as a professional. 20 big wins from 20 contests. Nine wins coming by way of lockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the second Dublin is undefeated. Patrick Highland. Another Highland. Occupying prime time on a Saturday night. And this is Patrick. Same name as his father, who's in his corner. And interesting to see what Swat Laze will be like here. Albanian, but uh, based in Italy. Good record, but he's never won away out of Italy. And he's had a chance to do that in both the Ukraine and France. So you'd say one ring may be the same as another, but it's a fact. What we know of him, he's a busy fighter, two-handed fighter. Nice constant start here by Patrick Island. See, what he does is right. His jabbing is nice and neat. Sometimes he double jabs, then he throws in the right cross and or a hook. In the last 10 seconds of the first round, and it's been a very good round, I would think, for Patrick Island. And on my card, anyway, he's won the first one. And I'm watching Dave Boy McCauley writing down his, and he's given, you've given it to him as well. Yep. He switched to Southpaw. He's trying to make things a wee bit more difficult for, uh, for Patrick Island, because apparently this, this is what he does. He switches back and forth to try and confuse his opponents. Sometimes you can get caught yourself when you do that because if you're not used to fighting south all the time, you're better staying the way you are. Two really good body shots there from Ireland. Laze the third ball with his left hand held in reserve, but held too long. And Highland beats him to the punch. Highland's timing is good here already. Of course, the family was disappointed that uh, Paulie couldn't see off Willie Casey, but not too many on the night would have seen off Big Bang. But this is a wonderful start from Patrick Highland. Change of opponent is not a great thing in a fighter's life. But obviously Highland here doesn't seem to mind who Brett, he's in against. And you'd have to say at this stage, Dave Boyd, that his accuracy of punching is remarkable. Yeah, his punch is uh, top class, but he's going... Laze here tends to jump in with the right hand and the left hook. He tends to be very dangerous with those. Patrick Highland's going to have to keep that defence tight and keep boxing this guy. To, Move in, yes, when you see the opportunity, and bang, a few good, one, two, three good shots, and move out again. But don't get too close to this guy. You know, you want to keep this at range, because he has the range, he has the range. This is what he wants to do. Good, solid, three or four points combination, then move away out of danger. Highland's in control, and if he can stay in control, and stays calm, then he's on his way to something special for himself tonight. That's a nice, oh. nice bit of work there by Highland. The bell had gone, and that's the end of that round. But it's by no means the end of this fight, and it's by no means the end of Patrick Highland, who has performed really well in the first six minutes. Good stuff here for Patrick Highland. That's a good sweeping right uppercut. Bang, and then another right uppercut to the chin. He's doing the right thing. He's staying out of trouble. He's keeping it long distance because if he moves in, see the way he lunges in, Lazzy, with these big swinging left hooks and right hands. He's very dangerous when he does that. For the man from Jobstown in Dublin, in the black trunks, Patrick Highland, the taller man, the longer reach, and the leader on this one so far. You Double jabs see. again, very well. Yeah, you can see the power that Laze has when he's inside. It's like, Harry Highland has got power, as we can see here, but he's also powerful when he stands off and he boxes. If he gets too close, this guy will be very dangerous. So, but if he keeps him at arm's length, and lets those big right hands and those good left hooks. And when he does get in close, two or three points and move out of the danger zone. 
good defense again by Highland. So a lot of shots thrown. They see they're taking on the arms and gloves. Now it's Highland's turn to put a little flurry together. The way he's back now, the Orthodox again. He was back there for two seconds, three seconds. The Orthodox, then he switched back to South Paul again. He's trying to confuse. It's a good tactic if it works, but it's not confusing Patrick Highland. But he's jumping in with those, with those, those big right hands. And, and it's a pity that Patrick can't time it that he jumps on to a big left hook. He's quite simply, Lazzy does not have the reach and cannot get in in the range to throw any sort of decent shot as long as uh, Highland can keep him here at this sort of divide he is on a winner see this is what Highland wants to do they had a good exchange here and opening the bat around there but Highland had him at the long end of that of those big long arms and Lazé couldn't get his punches off properly but La Highland landed two or three good clean shots and he hurt Lazé there slightly but he did a bit of damage but if he gets close, Jimmy, he's in real big danger because this guy, Lowry, can bang a bit. As he's proved there now. But Highland is a good technician. And he's proving that too. Laze, out of the 22 fights he's had up to this, he's lost only three. See, what he wants to do is when Laze is uh, on the south post dance, is make sure and keep his left, foot, his left foot outside Lazay's right foot and make that safe for stuff. Oh, good stuff. And a lovely shot Three. by Highland. Three. And the first Four. count of five. Five. Lazay then says it shouldn't be a count, Seven. but Paul McCullough Eight. is Hands adamant. Okay. Hands up, defend yourself. against it here. So Highland want to get out of this corner, push him away, and step back into the center of the ring and begin to take it again. Hey, step back. Lazzi doesn't appear to be in any trouble. I know he was uh, counter there, but he's all right. Highland dictating. And on top. That was a good straight left there by Highland. And that Stop got his man on the face. So four rounds are over. We're at the halfway mark. And so far, signs are very good for Patrick Highland. He's got 40 points, so there's one knockdown count there. So it's 40 points to 35 at this one. Here it comes now. Fine. That's not it. But it was good stuff from Highland. He has been very good for that sweeping right hand. It's very dangerous. He hit him with a punch there, he caught him with a, with a left jab, he went down, he made a, he made a part slip, he might have been partly off balance, but the punch was thrown and he went down, so that's the referee, and that's why the referee gave him a count. Unless Highland obliges him. You see, that's a danger zone. Where Tucker Highland wants to be is the centre of the ring, out of that danger zone right now. Box and move, do some good solutions, hit, and get out of the way. Let Lazé follow you right around and run around after you, but don't fight his fight. And then right on cue, Highland does that. To appease Dave Boyd, he's in the centre of the ring and he's at distance, but he is within punching range and that's what counts, whereas very seldom in this fight has Lazé been in punching range. See, Patrick Highland has a boxing skill, and when you have the boxing skill, you put them into use. A boxer here is fighting a fighter, and what you and he's got the height advantage, the reach advantage. So what you do is you keep him at long distance. You pop, pop out that jab and bang with those big rights, and then when you get in close, two or three good solid shots and move away. Ireland fights them off. Ireland can do a bit of each. He can box and he most certainly can fight and no doubt he can punch. As the fight progresses here, Jimmy, he's getting too, from, in my opinion, he's getting too close. The first two or three opening rounds, 
fantastic he boxed, he moved in and out and away. Now he goes in and he doesn't come away quick enough. He, he stays in too long and then Lazé can offload those swinging right hooks, those swinging left, left hand. So that's what he has to do. Just use your reach advantage, use your height advantage and your boxing advantage and move. If you can imagine just a, a red ring round Lazé, whenever you're inside that ring, you're in danger. Whenever you're outside that, uh, of that ring, you're fine. And that's about six inches outside it, you're, you're, you're perfect. And now he's got it a distance again, Highland. And if he continues from here, then he's pretty well home and host. And there he's back, the orthodox now, Lazé. You know, this is the, the trying to he switches back and forward, but he stays southpaw for quite a long time. He's now back to, to Orthodox. I wonder how long he'll stay there. <laughs> he's jumping in and he's hoping that one of the times that he jumps in that, that big right hook will land on target. And if you do a thing often enough, it might happen. So it's Lazar doing the punching and Island as you can see doing the blocking. That's a good right hand to keep uh, Lazzi at bay for a moment anyway. But second part of the fight, the Albanian Italian has come more into it. He's certainly full of pep, maybe short a bit on technique, because his straight punching is not great, whereas Highlands is certainly superior. Two weeks ago we featured Paulie Highland. Tonight is brother Patrick. And that's what the progression Eddie should be next. But there'll be no pro show for a while. Certainly not this side of Christmas. That's got left hand work from Ireland. Very good. A mixture of hooks and the nod. A hint of an uppercut. And Highland cleverly tying them up there. Oh, that's a cracking great uppercut. Bang on the money. Beautiful stuff. A lovely great uppercut. Bang on the chin. From Patrick Highland. It's boxed really well. And Highland weaves and bobs a little. Good movement of the head, good repositioning of the feet. And he is a winner every step of the way. Last three seconds of the fight. And he can take it without the official announcement that Patrick Highland has won it. Dave by McCauley. Yep. Absolutely fantastic stuff from Patrick Highland. That was a real good step up on class that's in fact that in my opinion that was two or three steps up on class ladies and gentlemen the referee Paul McCulloch has scored the contest uh, Stuart Leze 73 points Patrick Highland 78 points the winner and now undefeated in 21 contests uh, that means Patrick Highland for me anyway the only surprise Hello, is the closeness of the scoring. Well, Patrick, congratulations. It was looked impressive for to us. How was it for you? Um, I, I, I wanted to work on my boxing skills today, show the public that I'm not just a come forward fighter. So uh, it was a good test. Tough little guy, hit him with some shots. He uh, kept coming, coming, changing his uh, stance, swinging in, making things difficult for me. But I uh, came out as the champ on top. Changing his stance and changing his style, how yeah. difficult was that? Yeah, it wasn't too difficult, you have to adapt to these things when you're in the ring. And uh, like, um, I, was, I was watching him, I knew he was a, a switch hitter, so I was working on a bit of southpaw and orthodox at the same time. And my plan was not to get in close to him, because he's very dangerous with a small guy. But uh, I boxed well to me. Yeah, how, mu how much patience did that require, trying to keep him at arm's length the whole time? Uh, well, it's the patience is the game, like, you know, like eight rounds. If I rushed in, the four CEO could have blown up. So I just kept my boxing skills and uh, came out like he, he was hurting, get, getting hurt more, come, rushing in onto my shots, which I was finding very easy to hit. Like, but I was, I was glad of the performance. Well, having been happy with that, what's next? How close are you now to that European title shot? Um, I think I'm another fight and I'm, and I'm there. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. It's like getting, getting the fight, get, getting the yeah, taller opponents. Because <laughs> the, the champion is a tall southpaw. So I need to get a few taller opponents now to match at their level. Well, it was a great performance tonight. Well done, Patrick Highland. Thanks very much.